All right, guys, this is the banner hung up. I am going to show you a create with me on this, and I hope you'll stay tuned and enjoy the um, creating of this little banner I did for our guest room. I need to create something for my guest room and I'm going to make a little banner. Um, I'm going to use this beautiful paper collection, Mente by Corolla. And this one, what is this one called? Lovely Day. Doo -doo -doo. Lovely Day. So, um, it's a really beautiful collection and I have several of these uh, Mente papers and they are just gorgeous but I thought I would do kind of a little craft with me and I have a few things oh let's put that other thing away hold on um, okay so for my banner I was going to use this as my base to use some lace also I was hoping to find a lace that would hang hmm all right let's let's just do let's do our banner pieces first so I went ahead I had these um, in my stash these uh, what do you call them? Um, burlap pieces that were already cut like banner pieces. And I cut my paper to fit on the inside so you could still see the banner or the burlap part. And this is going to go really nice in my guest room. My guest room, um, I am decorating it in lemon, lemons and um, succulents. So this paper collection has some yellow colors in it, but it also has kind of succulent type of, you can see the succulent right here. And then this is like aged and uh, I just think it's perfect. Actually, I think I'm gonna put this on this end and this one on the other end. So let's do this so you can see all of them and how they're gonna go. Can you see this one? You can't even see that one. Okay. So it's going to go like that. And we're going to decorate them. You want to? I do. I wish they were bigger, but they're not, and that's okay. I also have this. this trim that I'm wanting to use with them as well. And this trim, cause it'll bring out the yellow. I want it to, to bring out the yellow, but not like in your face yellow. These are the flowers I have to work with because, um, and I don't know, they're very in your face yellow. So we'll, we'll play that one by ear. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and glue on all of these paper pieces to my burlap. And I want to get a good amount of glue. I always use the Beacon Fabric Tack if you're interested. And I'm going to bring this to the lower end of my burlap piece where there's just a little bit sticking out and then there's more on the top. And I'll show you why when we're done gluing. Gluing. That is a southern term for gluing. Even though I'm from Denver, I am originally more southern. Okay. This is the simple part. We're going to get to the fun part in a minute.
And as you can see, these papers are gorgeous on both sides. This, I wanted to use the wood grain, but look what's on the other side. Makes it hard to cut these papers, but when you do, you can create beautiful stuff. All right, so we're all glued up. Now, this is what I was thinking when I pulled this stuff out, was that I wanted to put this at the top of each one of my banners. And I do like that. So, Let's do that. So I'm going to find where to cut. And I'm going to cut. How many do we have? Five? One. Two. Four, and hopefully this piece will fit, but I don't think it will. might okay all right now with these because I wanted to adhere really fast and this is why I left more room up here was because I knew I wanted to put something at the top and I still want you know my paper to show because if we had put it up higher we would have covered up too much of our paper so I'm going to put a white amount of hot glue because if I put too much it's just going to seep all through to my desk and I'm really hoping you're able to see this okay so I love that super love that so let's take our next piece, put our glue way up there at the top, and this is the piece that wasn't really long enough, so I'm going to really pull it, try to stretch it. It's not going to be that noticeable. And that's because we're going to put another layer on top of that. Okay. I really love this fringy, lacy trim. It, to me, it looks it lends itself well to... Um, creating a banner and I'm feeling kind of in banner mode so I might actually create a banner for my craft room I got hooked on banners. <laughs> there goes my glue gun. I got hooked on banners about oh five years ago, and um, I always, always enjoy creating banners. And I have oh gosh, probably five banners.
and are already hanging in my craft room that were created for me by other people. And I just love them. Okay. All right. Now I have this trim and I want to put it at the top of the the white there so I'm going to cut me five pieces of that and I know this could be a little bit boring for some of you I, I'm you know obviously you can click off if you want but um not a lot of people create banners and um I just thought I would share my my process and my thought process because um, based on one of my videos not too long ago, someone said they really enjoyed hearing the thought process and that they prefer to hear somebody talk about what they're doing rather than have music playing while they're doing it. Okay, so I really like that. And I'm pretty sure I got this yellow trim from Crafty Kim. Um, pretty sure. Um, she was, she sent me a nice little, um, gift package, and I'm pretty sure this was in it. And you can see some of the pieces when I cut it, kind of frayed a little bit. Hey, that just adds to the charm. I am okay with that. Oh, I really like that. Some more hot glue here hold on okay there we go this is going to look really cute in the guest room and the boys are just going to love it not they'll get over it if they don't want to come to the house because it's decorated the way I want it, that's a sad state of affairs. Okay. one more and the nice thing about this gorgeous paper is you can be a minimalist with your banner um, you don't have to add lots of stuff to it but there is something I think I want to add to it that I'm probably gonna have to go to the store and get All right, now I'll be honest with you, that is all I intend to do to the banners, except I did think about doing this, and I wish I could hear you guys, because I really wanted your opinion. Uh, this part of it's just really messed up, I'm going to I'm gonna have to cut this part off. I was thinking about doing that. And I think it's cute, but I also have this. I wish I had some that wasn't so big. 
So I did it like that. And then I did it like that, but then there's a fold. Let me look over here and see what I've got. See what I've got. Because I want it to be, I want it to be feminine, but I don't want it to be over the top. Does that make sense? Hmm. Okay, let's see. That's too big. You're too big. Go away. I'm going to put this away because this is getting in my way. All right, so I have Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Okay. All right. So we're going to cut five of these. Everything is the same length. enough All right. so here we go now we're on the underside of the burlap now not gluing this on the top gluing it on the underside And I'm going to glue it as close to the bottom of the burlap as possible. And here we're going to just do pinch a little small fold. Because the banner has that point. Ta-da! Yeah, I like it. See, it's still not over the top, but it adds that little, that little feminine touch to it, and I like it. Because like I said, I want it to be feminine, but not over the top feminine. Because my niece is coming to stay, and she's... Well, she came to my house as a child, like a little, small child, and um, that was when I first moved in, and my house didn't really look that nice, and now that Honey has been here and um, made all the difference in the world in our, our home... It, you know, the house has really changed, and um, I want it to just really reflect who we are. And since I am a crafty maniac, and Lydia, my, my niece, is also um, crafty. She's learning to do calligraphy, and um, so, yeah, I think she will appreciate my efforts and I am excited, too, to share with you where I hang this up when I'm all done. 
I'm going to be curious to see if you agree that it looks really good where I'm planning to put it. So see how cute that looks? Oh, I love it. This really is a simple project and you can do it in any style that you want with any paper or trims or whatever that works for you into your decor. This is just what works with mine. All right. Look at our banner pieces. Okay. Now, this was what I had planned to use for the base. So, this one. Probably should go over there and measure my space. Oh, I wished I had enough of this to put like is that too much? One. Yeah, I don't have enough. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. I don't know. I wish you guys could tell me what you think. If that's too much, I do have enough. This was also given to me by Crafty Kim. Maybe I just put it on the wood grain because it covers up too much of the floral on here. I think I'll do that. I think I will just do it on the wood grain and then it won't look like too much. I don't know if Crafty Kim watches my videos anymore. I haven't heard her comment in a long time, but I definitely um, have been hoarding this trim because it's been quite some time since she sent it to me. All right. So what I'm thinking is I want to hang some little streamers right here and I want to use this color and I want some light yellow. So I'm going to go around my stash and be back. So while I was off camera, I did um, find this colored burlap trim that matches fairly closely and I glued it on I glued this burlap trim onto it. I don't care that it's not perfect and this is one yard that I did and um, I discovered I thought oh a yard will be plenty well I discovered it wasn't plenty so in order to still be able to use this and not have to totally redo it, I'm going to cut it up and show you what I'm going to do. I didn't plan on cutting it, but sometimes you have to improvise. 
and I'm going to cut these again. And actually, this happy mistake will probably work out to my benefit. Because when you have a straight piece like this and you want to make a banner, it's going to have a tendency to want to hang straight. And with the banner, let me show you, you kind of want it to swag. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it swag. So, I'm going to use these pieces and I'm going to glue my, I'm going to turn these so that they will, you know, hang like that. Um, and then I also had wanted to use this. Well, I won't be able to do that. But maybe I could put that on the yellow trim. And that'll just tone down that yellow just a little bit. So I'm thinking about that. I'm not sure yet. So... See, we'll use our two longer pieces at the end. We'll get this. And then we need one here. You're not going to be able to see the whole process uh, because, you know, my camera angle is not um, long enough. So basically that's what I'm going to do is then I'll have plenty of this trim. I can even fold this piece over like that and make a loop so that when I put my thumbtack, it doesn't show. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll be back. Okay, here is my final banner and how I hung it. This is my guest room. Um, I've been working on it, like I said, yellows and succulents. Back here, more yellow. So I, I wanted something to add to this doorway, and I thought, what would be really cool on a door? A banner. So let me bring you in closer. And show you that I added three. I'm sorry, I've got a the pull to the ceiling fan. I've got three succulents that I added, and then I just added some um, yellow paper flowers from my stash and everything else you saw me do on video. It's really simple, and I just think it adds a really nice little touch to this piece. Now, I will tell you, and um, I'm not sure if I'll have time, but we have some vintage windows um, that I'm gonna have Honey put in here. I was actually gonna have him fill this space with the vintage windows, but I think if he puts one on this side and one on this side, would look really cool. So, if I don't show this video before, I will show you with that. Otherwise, um, thanks for watching and head over to ASC Supplies and get you some of this new paper wine that um, they're carrying, Mente. And I love it. I have several collections and I have several collections in my cart. So I hope you enjoyed this and that it inspired you to create something like this for your own space. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy Scrappy Day. Say bye, Rizzo.